I deal with patients all the time that are afraid of the dentist. I predominantly deal with children and you know they learn a lot when they start school from their peers and they talk about shots and all the terrible things that happen at the dentist. It's very dramatized. So our main thing that we do to address patients that are afraid of the dentist is assess their situations, see how fearful they are. Are they fearful where they just don't like to come that much or is it a more severe anxiety? Assess that. For the adults, we do offer um, options for sedation. Dr. Dave and Dr. Rand can, can sedate the patients. We have the nitrous oxide, which is the laughing gas. It's important to assess the patient, see what their level of anxiety is and what we can offer them and what, what works best for them. As far as children, uh, we offer the laughing gas, but mainly what I do with the children is it's about imagination and distraction. I use a technique called tell, show, do. You tell them what you're going to do, then you show them every single instrument so they aren't you know, wiggling around trying to figure out what you're sneaking up on them with. We always tell them I will not sneak up on them and then we do it. And they're comfortable, they're already familiar with it, we're reminding them as we go. That helps build rapport with them and during the doing, we also distract them. The, the children will be, we will be catching their sugar bugs and we'll, I'll be saying, oh, we're, let's spray them out of there. There goes an orange one, there goes a blue one. And the entire time we're working, we are vacuuming up their sugar bugs. And then at the end, we can empty out the, the vacuum and give them their sugar bugs. So they get to go home with their little baggie of colorful sugar bugs that we caught. And then they're excited to come next time and see what color their sugar bugs are. So that keeps them busy, that keeps them involved, and they, they like it. They leave wanting to come back to the dentist.